in a bid to boost clean energy development amid an ever-increasing demand to achieve a long-term future and sustainability for Nigeria and the African continent. The U.S. Special Presidential Envoy for Climate, John Kerry, has paid a visit to the Nigerian Minister of Environment, Mohamed H. Abdullahi, to sign a memorandum of understanding on clean energy demand initiative that will benefit both countries. The Minister of Environment, Mohamed Abudlai, while highlighting notable achievements made in the energy transition plan, stated the need for a progressive transition to clean energy in order to achieve a sustainable goal by 2030. Achieving the zero commitment of Mr. President uh, by 2016. Now, part of the challenge, part of what we try to do um, with the consent of the President is to actually pass the National Climate Change uh, Act. Now, the National Climate Change Act is basically to mainstream um, all climate change issues that uh, have been operated in silos you know, at various uh, medicine, uh, various MDAs, ministries, departments and agencies of government. And then to see how we can also mainstream the private sector uh, practitioners in climate change activities. Uh, he has just recently appointed the Director General, who is the Director General yeah. of the Climate Change Council. So who is going to be like uh, Waza, as it is for, for the climate change uh, activities. Um, so as a build-up towards that, we've also been able to develop our homegrown energy transition plan. Now, the energy transition plan, like I tried to allude yesterday, um, envisages um, a transition from you know, gas energy uh, in the next couple of years, between now and then, and 2035, to see how we can transit to clean energy. And as well as also providing accessible energy, accessible clean energy to homes, particularly uh, a lot of homes uh, in the country. The U.S. Special Presidential Envoy for Climate, John Kerry, mentioned the importance of this collaboration with Nigeria, including the efforts of the United States to help more than half a billion people in developing countries adapt and manage the impacts of climate change through Clean Energy Demand Initiative. The program that uh, the Minister has just signed is an initiative that started in Glasgow, which is the Clean uh, Energy Demand Initiative. And it's a way by which companies, countries can make decisions to try to implement the buying or the production of green products and to accelerate the marketplace creation in that. That will help us transition faster to a clean energy economy in order to deal with the climate crisis. And the minister has agreed in the letter of intent. We have uh, uh, $200 million at the moment committed to the startup and the process of SETI, but we know that ultimately this transition is going to take billions of dollars and even trillions of private investment. And we talked today about the ways in which we can be helpful to bring major amount of capital to the table with technology to help Nigeria move faster to the clean energy economy. That's the future. And all of the citizens of Nigeria will benefit cleaner air, from, from uh, uh, jobs that come with this transition, uh, the economic growth, the competitiveness that comes with it, but also healthier, safer uh, as a result. Noma Omeje.